Okay, so just put on a base uh, cream and the base cream I have here is from Bob Bobbi Brown. It's called Vitamin Enriched, what you call this, uh, face base right here. For primer, I'm using this one right here. This is from Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer right here. Here is kind of out of the way. Let me scoot back and let's start this makeup. So now for my foundation. I've been loving this foundation a lot along with this one here as well. Mix them together today and oh what is this? Oh my gosh. See that? It's so liquidy. All that extra goodness is falling away from the foundation itself so i think i'm gonna have to shake it well before using it well that should be enough but i mean that was not good all right so my shade i got in 7.7 .7 honey for this one i have here is w086 warm almond this foundation is kind of darker so i like to mix it together see that it's a little darker than my color but once i blend everything in it doesn't look too bad okay for concealer or prior to that corrector i'm going to use this and then use this one from charlotte tilbury number two and this one's from becca and this one's anti-fatigue anti under eye primer and then after that i'm going to go with these two concealer I'm going to cocktail them both and I love doing that. I don't know if anybody does it. Only, I'm sure they do. If you guys are watching, if you guys do, do let me know that down below. I don't want to be the only weirdo who makes their foundation and their concealer, but I just love doing that. I'm going to do that and fast forward this part. Change a plan. So the plan is I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first and then do the concealer it's a little bit something i wanted to get used to doing because i'm so used to do my face first and then do my eyes but i just want to kind of change it up today use this one from tom ford coco mirage right here i like to keep my little sticker level i just peel it out from the box and i put it up here for me to see when i store my compact where i know which one instead of me pulling every each one of them out to see which color this is the color i'm going to use today and this one has pretty much all of them nude color or not nude i mean all the matte color of course it's nude but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here and start with that i don't even know like what look i'm doing today i need to clean my brushes i know i know but i've just been lazy not doing it i will do it though this weekend, I will do it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here from Charlotte Tilbury. And this one, the sticker fell off, so I'm not sure. I'll try to write it on the screen for you guys. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna use my finger. And it's a moussey texture, as you can see. It's best to use with your fingertip. Coffee break time. I could just leave it like this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and top it up with the Natasha Denona's, this thing right here. I love this color, Chroma Crystal Liquid Eyeshadow. The color I have here, Sienna. I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger because this whole thing is so like, you see, messy. A little bit of glitter doesn't hurt. Now I am kind of finished. And for my eyeliner, I am gonna use Charlotte Tilbury's eyeliner. Okay, I am missing my inner corner Baba Boom. So for that, there's no Baba Boom like, you know, the shimmery um, champagne color in this quad. I'm going to pull out my other shadow. So this is the Natasha Denona. I don't even know because I peel that extra shield off. So this is the color. It's kind of like champagne-y color. And I like to put it on my inner corner it just gives me that instant like it makes you look like you're awake i'm gonna use this one from ysl this one is the eyeliner just to tidy up that inner black color with my 
brown eyeliner I just went ahead and um, blended into the brown shade here not the shade the eyeliner so as you can see probably what I did um, and so yeah I could have left it alone but I just want something different today and the lashes I'm using today from House of Lashes and then they collaborated with Patrick Ta and this one I have here it's a look and I already wore it one time I already like kind of trimmed out the corner and made it look like my eye shape and this is what it looks like it's really nice and winged out and that's my kind of my type of lashes that i like to wear whenever i wear lashes i like to wear that's more winged out i like to have something like a cat eye go ahead and glue my lashes with house of lashes adhesive my lashes are on they're so pretty i love them and very lightweight and it does remind me of Ardell Wispies and I love those lashes too. So if you don't want to splurge $18 or $16 depending on you know if you're going to buy the combo. I think the combo she, he has is if you buy three then it's $16 and if you buy single then it's $18. If you don't want to spend $18 in, on one pair then definitely go for the Ardell Wispies that they have and um, they're like six or seven dollars anyway but i'm sure i will be able to use this at least good 30 times maybe go ahead and use my concealers and the concealer like i said i'm gonna go ahead and cocktail them my i'm gonna make it my own color basically and today i'm gonna go ahead and use brush i'm trying to change a few things that I'm always I always like to do this part I'm just gonna try to fast forward it because pretty much you guys know my kind of routine if you follow me if you're new welcome and I like to do a lot of um, like tutorials and some fashions i do have a few blog videos now i'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this i just love this combination so much something with this little bit of extra you know like this givenchy and gucci mixed together gives me the best bronzing look ever so i just love using both and the brush I used to set my under eye was from Real Technique. I, this is what I used to do. This is from Hourglass and this is the Ambient uh, New Face Powder. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Today, doing something different again. Like I said, trying to do something different today. <laughs> and I'm using the brush from Moda Brush. Okay, now I'm going to use this one. This is the... Tushet Claw 3D All Over Glow Powder. And this is what it looks like. It's a very subtle and beautiful little glow powder. Love the packaging. This is from Gruon, just in case if you're wondering. And the number? No idea. I'll try to put it on the screen. I'm not very good at linking things on my channel. I'm so sorry. I'm like the one of those weirdo. But I'll go ahead and try to put the color name right here. okay guys so i am here finished and this is my final look um i tried to do a little fake freckles and i did a little boo boo but i don't know how this looks on me so this is my dress right here love this dress for you know dinner date whatever you want to call it I think this is appropriate and so I will catch you on my next video till then you guys stay safe and healthy all right guys bye